Welcome to SVL Free News and Views for Wednesday, June the 5th. I'm here at uh, Mitchell College Continuing Education Center. I'll be explaining why I'm here very shortly. But first of all, let's thank all of our sponsors. Mitchell College, Randy Marion, Piedmont Healthcare, Blue Harbor Bank, Fast Fields, Key to Escape, The Escape Room, and Statesville Family YMCA. Okay, you know, over the past few weeks, we've been talking to several local leaders, including uh, Ron Smith, City Manager, Beth Jones, Iredell County Manager, and City Council, Statesville City Council members, Michael Johnson and William Morgan. And let me talk about the future of Statesville and Iredell County. They're talking a lot about two big factors that are going to be key in that. First of all, uh, education and also workforce development. So the means to deliver the education to train folks or be able to assume these new uh, roles here in Statesville and Iredell County is very, very necessary. Now, Mitchell College is stepping up to the plate and offering some summer camps to your, for your children here to give them an idea of how they can begin to think about their career before they graduate from high school, maybe develop an interest they, they didn't know they had. These include uh, fundamentals of cooking, public safety, the incredible human body, and career exploration, some ways to they can really find out what they have a passion about. Also, a reminder, if you haven't done it yet, go to svlfreenews.com and sign up for your email edition, which comes out every morning at 5 a.m. SVL Free News, always local, always free. So let's go to Mike Furman. He's here at Mitchell College talking to some folks about these summer camp opportunities here at the Continuing Education Center on right, West Front. today at the Continuing Education Center on the campus of Mitchell Community College with three special guests, Marty Byers, Diane Pritchard, and Hetty Hedrick. Thanks for joining me. Thank you. Now we're here today to talk about the summer camps that Mitchell's offering this summer and they have a great lineup of camps for uh, kids and teenagers uh, and it could be a great benefit to parents to have a little free time this summer. So we're going to go through and talk to uh, each of you a little bit about the camps that you're in charge of, give some information about it. You know, uh, just a little more information up front, the, the camps are $50, uh, they last for about three to four days each. And the drop-off for all the camps is here at the Continuing Ed Building, which is out on uh, West Front Street. Uh, so, Marty, let's talk. St start with you. You're do in charge of the Public Safety Camp, which is um, starts June 24th. Yes. And that's a full-day camp. That is a full-day camp, except for the last day is a half day. Okay. Now, give us an idea of what the participants can expect. It <clears throat> sounds really exciting. So, it's it's really it's designed to to open the eyes. To, to our young folks coming up uh, to public safety. Uh, so we give them a really good overview of what law enforcement does. Uh, so one day, they're gonna, like I said, they're gonna be with law enforcement. Uh, they'll have an opportunity, hopefully, to shoot some zombies on their farm, on a farm simulator here at the college. Uh, we uh, will have a golf cart here with some uh, drunk simulation glasses so they can experience how that is. And some other things, maybe some canine demonstrations and a SWAT demonstration. Uh, then uh, one day we will carry them down to CATS uh, where they will get to go into their uh, smoke building down there, suit up just like a firefighter, feel their way around in the dark, um, get through that, uh, put out some fires. And then we're going to have another day with uh, EMS, uh, so they'll get to hopefully see exactly how EMS works, learn some CPR and some things of that nature, uh, spend some time with our communication center, our 911 center. Um, so that'll be one day, and then the, another day we'll send them down to Mooresville Fire Department, mm -hmm. um, and they'll have the opportunity to use some rescue equipment, cutting open some um, cars. Uh, you know, getting some patients out of cars and stuff like that. Uh, repel off of, uh, I think it's a five-story building. Last year, our students were repelled off of that pretty. Uh, I wouldn't do it. <laughs> uh, so they spend a whole day down there. They do a really good job down there with them. And then our last day or half day, they go back to CATS, and they learn how to firehouse cook. Okay. Now, this is very hands-on. <clears throat> what, what are the age groups involved? So we're looking at eighth and rising ninth graders. Okay. So mostly eighth through high school. Yeah. Okay. okay. And, yeah. and how many students do you typically have? And um, what's your space limit here? Twenty is our cutoff. Okay. Twenty okay. is our twenty is our cutoff. We can't handle much more than that. It'll just we wouldn't have time for that. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, now, Diane, you're uh, kind of coordinating the uh, cooking camps and also the Incredible Human Body. Yes. Uh, tell us a little bit about those programs, what uh, the age group for the students involved, and what the participants can expect. 
Very good. Our Fundamentals of Cooking Camp is for high school juniors and seniors. This is a program that will uh, offer some hands-on cooking activities and some real insights into operating uh, a restaurant as a business. The dates of the camp are June 18th through the 20th and the hours are 8 to 1. Okay. So this is the camp for the older uh, student. Mm -hmm. We also have a camp for younger um, would-be chefs and that camp has filled. Okay. But space is available for this high school junior and senior. Now will they get to eat the food they prepare? <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. So these are students who are maybe considering going into a vocational program and can learn more about it? Absolutely. To nope. really look at the restaurant business as a career for those who uh, or have an inclination to that. So. And will that be led by Mitchell instructors or we have people from outside businesses coming? We, in? one of our very own Chef Bob, okay. as we affectionately mm -hmm. call him, he is the director of our two-year culinary arts program okay. and he will be conducting this camp. Okay, and what about the Incredible Human Body? The Incredible Human Body um, is a camp again taught by one of our instructors, uh, Dr. Danielle Day. This is a camp for fifth through eighth graders and her description of her camp and a preview of the activities. It's one of the most exciting uh, camps around. It is very interactive. Uh, students will participate and engage in demonstrations and activities that really help them realize the wonders of the human body. Very timely topics, cell biology, DNA, the major systems of the body. And this camp is uh, coming up in July. Okay. It is July 22nd through the 26th, morning hours, 8.30 to 11.30. So very exciting, very good response, uh, but spaces are still available. Okay, great. Now, Hedy, tell us a little bit about the Career Exploration Camp. Sure thing. Um, that camp is going to be July 22nd through the 25th. It is a morning camp starting at 9, 9 a.m., and we've got a great instructor, Christy Hare. She's going to be conducting uh, this uh, camp for the, I'll say kids, but they're actually 10th, 11th, and 12th graders. Okay. And they could be seniors who have graduated, and that's mm -hmm. fine. Mm -hmm. uh, we would enjoy for them to come as well. Um, Christy, she is a instructor here at Mitchell. She has her MBA. She's a business instructor. And so she's going to go over with uh, these young folks about careers and start mm -hmm. talking to them because it's never too soon for uh, young people to be to start thinking about what do they want to do once they get out of school. Mm -hmm. So we start off the week that Monday with doing oh, it's a wonderful, it's a career assessment called U Science, and they will be um, doing this this first day and it gets at not only what they're interested in but what their actual aptitudes are mm -hmm. what their natural inclinations are so she will be going over those results with them and then really defining what success is do do these some of these young people want to go directly to work do they want to go to college and and really kind of getting it at, at that um, you know the different options that they would have She'll talk about uh, different professions, the degree requirements. She's also uh, lining up uh, professional um, presenters to come in mm -hmm. and talk about different fields. So it's like, like the title says, it's an exploration for them to take a look at different career options. Um, in my role here at the college, I get uh, many phone calls from parents and grandparents mm -hmm. trying to help direct their children or grandchildren uh, because once someone graduates from high school they've got to make choices they've mm -hmm. got to make decisions so we are, are very excited about this week and hoping that we're going to help some young people get some direction okay well thank you all for taking the time to talk with us today uh, you can register for all these classes online at, on the Mitchell website again the cost is fifty dollars the registration for the fundamentals of cooking and also for the uh, public safety is uh, June 14th and for the other two classes it's um, July 1st. 
So there's more information available online and we look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you. Thank you.